This tutorial shows how to use track changes in Microsoft Word. Hello, my name is Erin. I'm a technical writer and editor who shares step-by-step -step software tutorials and writing tips for the real world on this channel and on my blog at erinwritewriting.com. Today's tutorial shows how to use track changes in Microsoft Word. Track changes helps us track our own edits and those created by other users. Word calls these edits markups. The term track changes is commonly used for both edits and comments, so this tutorial also includes Word's comment tool. We're going to cover nine topics how to turn track changes on and off, how to show and hide track changes, how to delete, insert, and replace text with track changes, how to change formatting with track changes, how to accept or reject track changes, how to insert comments, how to reply to and resolve comments, how to delete comments, and how to open and close the reviewing pane. There are multiple ways to perform each of these tasks. To conserve time, we'll focus on the methods I believe are the most useful for the majority of users. I'll be using Word for Microsoft 365. These steps will also work for Word 2019, Word 2016, and Word 2013. However, your interface may look slightly different in those older versions of the software. If you prefer to see an older interface, please see my previous tutorial of the same name, which was filmed on Word 2016. It's linked in the description box below. To turn track changes on, select the Review tab in the ribbon. Then select the Track Changes button in the Tracking group. The button will appear darker than the rest of the ribbon when track changes is turned on. When you're ready to turn off tracking, reselect the track changes button. You may notice that turning off track changes does not hide or remove existing tracking. It just means that the software will stop tracking future changes. I'm going to turn my track changes back on to complete the tutorial. To choose how edits and comments are displayed, select the Display for Review drop-down menu. The options are Simple Markup, All Markup, No Markup, and Original. Simple Markup displays the edited version of the content without visible inline edits. However, edits are indicated by a vertical line in the left margin. For example, if you delete a sentence, that sentence won't appear on screen. Instead, a vertical line will appear in the left margin showing that a change was made in that location. If you want to see the edit, select the vertical line to switch to All Markup. All Markup displays all edits and comments. This view is best for most copy editing and proofreading work. A vertical line, like the one shown in Simple Markup, will appear on the left side of the screen indicating that a change was made in that location. Select that line to switch to Simple Markup. No Markup displays the edited version of the content without any visible edits or comments. And Original displays the original version of the content without any edits or comments. To choose what features Track Changes displays, select the Show Markup drop-down menu. I recommend displaying all comments, insertions and deletions, and formatting. You can further fine-tune the appearance of your tracking by selecting the Balloon menu. Here I recommend choosing Show Only Comments and Formatting in Balloons so that your insertions and deletions will appear in the text. Lastly, you can choose specific people if you're working with multiple reviewers but want to limit tracking to specific people. 
I'll be using the All Markup view for the remainder of this tutorial. To delete text, select the text and then press the Delete key on your keyboard. The deleted text will appear with a strike through in the All Markup view. To insert text, place your cursor where the text should appear and then type the new text. The insertion will appear with an underline. To replace text, select the text and then type the replacement. The original text will appear with a strike through, and the replacement text will appear with an underline. Formatting includes things like font style, font size, font color, italics, bold font, underlining, superscripting and subscripting, indentation, alignment, and margins. To change the formatting with Track Changes, select the text and then change the format. Track Changes will automatically display the change in a balloon if you've selected Formatting in the Show Markup section of the Tracking Group and selected Show Only Comments and Formatting in Balloons. Edits created with track changes must be accepted before they become part of your document. You can accept or reject edits individually or all at once. To accept or reject an individual edit, click on it or select it. Then select the Accept or Reject button in the Changes group. Now we'll look at how to accept or reject all edits. Please note that I strongly caution against accepting or rejecting all edits without first checking the accuracy of each one unless they're all your own edits or you are very confident in your other reviewer's expertise. To accept or reject all edits, select the Accept or Reject menu arrow in the Changes group. Then select your preferred option, Accept or Reject All Changes, or Accept or reject all changes and stop tracking. Remember that if you accidentally accept or reject all edits, you can reverse the process by immediately pressing Ctrl plus Z on your keyboard or selecting the Undo button at the top of your screen. Now we'll look at how to insert comments. You can use the comment tool with track changes turned on or turned off. To begin, select the text you want to connect to the comment. Alternatively, you can place your cursor anywhere you want the comment to be connected without selecting specific text. Then select the New Comment button in the Comments group. Your cursor will automatically move into the comment balloon where you can type your comment. You can reply to other reviewers' comments or your own comments. You can also indicate that the issue discussed in the comment has been resolved. When a comment is resolved, it will be grayed out but will still be visible. To begin, select the comment to make the Reply and Resolve buttons visible. If you choose Reply, your cursor will move into a new comment balloon where you can type your reply. If you choose Resolve, the comment will be grayed out. Once a comment is resolved, you can select Reopen if you want to return it to an unresolved state. You can delete comments individually or all at once. To delete an individual comment, select the comment balloon, and then select the Delete button in the Comments group or the Reject button in the Changes group. To delete all comments, select the Delete button menu arrow in the Comments group. Then select Delete all comments in Document from the drop-down menu.
To open the Reviewing Pane, select the Reviewing Pane button in the Tracking Group. The Reviewing Pane, which is labeled Revisions, shows all the comments and edits selected in the Show Markup drop-down menu in the Tracking Group, along with the total number of those comments and markups in the document. The Reviewing Pane isn't necessary for using track changes, but it can be useful when you need to find a specific edit or want to see how many edits or comments are in the document. The Reviewing Pane will normally appear on the left side of your screen. However, you can select the Reviewing Pane menu arrow and select Reviewing Pane Horizontal if you prefer. When you're finished, select the Reviewing Pane button again to close the pane. As always, remember to save your file to save your tracking and other changes. I have created many other videos about Microsoft Word, including how to change the color of track changes in Microsoft Word, and how to remove usernames from existing track changes in Microsoft Word. Please see the complete list in the playlist titled How to Use Microsoft Word, which is linked in the description box below. The companion blog post for this video, showing all the steps we just performed, appears on ErinWriteWriting.com, which is also linked below. Feel free to leave me a comment if there's a specific topic related to Microsoft Word, Adobe Acrobat, or Google Docs that you'd like me to talk about in the future. And please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss future tutorials, and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching.